what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back i told you guys today okay to expect two more episodes of this but i'm going to do three episodes the reason why is because i saw the comment that said you need to do 10 11 and 12 th together so i'm going to be doing that okay so 10 10 11 and 12 um also before we get started right before we get started what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to go back and i'm going to check out the end credit scene from episode eight um because somebody was saying in the comment section that um i'll check every now and then i would rather um have like a list or something that I'll know because I usually don't because it's extra time that I have to sit here which most of the time I don't have so I am going to check out the end credit scene um, after that because um, the comment said that there was important information about the people that just showed up in episode 9 in, um, at the school the villains right with so definitely confirming that it's a real threat not exactly something that they're playing off of but i'm also i um um just as i thought you know just as i thought that they, it was a real threat but also you know just on uh, there's still this thing that's like bugging me like how did they get in it, it was a portal that uh, i'm guessing they have the villains have have someone on their team that can teleport people you know make them walk through portals and stuff like that but how but why didn't they do this before did they is it because the barrier is down like i i don't know so there's that too i will be doing a complete review of all five episodes that i did i didn't exactly do a review in the last one i just kind of touched on a few pointers because it was i told you guys that i didn't have a lot of time to do it because by a certain time like around 10 10 30 I have to stop doing reactions. I have to stop doing reactions because, um, <clears throat> you know, even though for some reason, I, or maybe I just didn't do it correctly, but I still need to, f to figure out a, a way to soundproof the room that I do reactions in so that I don't disturb anybody else in my house. And trust me, <clears throat> it's, it's, you know, <laughs> when that happens, it's a problem, you know? So, I don't want to have to keep having those confirmation those conversations um with her so I just kind of like just I just cut off everything that I do by 10:30 um so I, and plus I need to get some sleep too anyways but we're going to jump into this man episode 10 11 and 12 but remember I'm going to be watching the end credit scene from from 8 from um from episode 8 first okay so you'll see me do that and then we'll transition into the new episode which is episode 10 okay so i'll see you guys over there see you guys for the review right after okay so i'm out what's going on guys welcome back this is the review i'm gonna go through the build up the third act of this first season of my hero academia um so i did two episodes last night i released it like early this morning at some point um you know i know it doesn't matter what time i really i, I upload like you guys are on it <laughs> you know what i'm saying like you guys are on it so i just release stuff now i don't really specifically but most of the time it will be like early morning not necessarily two three o'clock in the morning but like like five six a.m my time i usually if i'm scheduling videos that's when they come out but these five episodes that i just did is five of the greatest stretch that i've ever watched um that uh, um is five of the best not to say that there's nothing comparable to it but it's the five episodes was so well set up coming from the growth of Bakugo into actually becoming, because at, at certain aspects, you kind of think you, you, you they kind of like trying, they, they were kind of trying to plant the seed that Bakugo might go bad because of what was happening, discovering that Deku has powers and stuff like that. It kind of felt like that, but I'm glad that they, they, they kind of tricked you into believing that and then when he hears the outcry i don't like the idea of deku not 
keeping his mouth shut though like every it is like he he keeps catching himself every time he's about to say something like that aspect of it is probably the only thing that i nitpick about like you know what i'm saying like you have something like that a secret like that and it's i know that it's not an easy secret to keep i know that it's not an easy secret to keep and he just knows so it's like but you you just got to be mindful you got it at this point he's supposed to be treating that secret as if it's his also because it's a quirk that can be shared you get what i'm saying it's not unique to a one person it's a quirk that can be shared so if they know that it's something that it can be shared they don't know like the masses don't know that it is a quirk that can be acquired through dna they 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 they, they don't know that you get what i'm saying so if that should get out you know what i'm saying it's the um you, you know what i'm saying rumors this and that and whatever you know what I'm saying? Things get out. It's gossip, you know? Um, so you got to try to, you know, if you have a secret, I think Deku is old enough to be able to, to to have a secret and not tell anybody. It's your secret too now. It's not just all mine. And every second he's catching himself. So if I should nitpick, get that out of the way, right? So coming down to the three that I did today, 10, 11, and 12, great setup. At the end of episode nine of the villains stepping in, um, questions, questions, questions. Great things happened <laughs> to set that up. Aizawa. Let's talk about Aizawa for a second and how beastly this dude is and how he held it down. A uh, little disappointed in Ida for hesitating, but that's anime for you. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Because... They do this thing where it's like they, they you, and you're like, why are you still here? Why are you still here? You, this is an emergency. Why are you still here? <laughs> you know what I mean? But it, it's, it's, it's how they, cause some of the times you kind of like lose track of time. Sometimes when you're watching stuff and you may think that you may think that things are happening one after the other, when everything is kind of happening simultaneously, they just can't show you everything happening simultaneously when regardless of if you're watching a movie tv show anime whatever you're watching so your concept of time tends to get thrown off because you're thinking oh these things are happening one after the other the other and a lot of times this stuff has happened simultaneously all together at once so you're like when they went back to him you know it could have been just like maybe like 30 seconds 60 seconds past and I'm thinking this whole time I've been watching the episode, this dude is <laughs> still sitting there. You know what I'm saying? So I just want to get that out of the way. Um, but the highlight, when All Might showed up, I'm glad that they focused so much on the animation between him showing up until the end of him beating Nomu at the end of um, episode 12 because they did a great job. They did an awesome job with the animation there and all might did what he's there to do he rescued pretty much everybody before he made sure that the kids were safe got him out of there um take out the little puny the puny the puny villains you know what i'm saying the side this the side villains that were just there they're weak they can't even beat the kids <laughs> you know what i'm saying they, they weak so um the only ones that were that were threats I don't remember their name, but I'm pretty sure that um, they're probably going to continue with these villains. Are I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. Dude is mad. I don't know if they're going to tr escape. They should be able to escape because the dude with the warp, dude is probably going to warp them out. Because they there's no way they're going to try to go up against All Might when he just pretty much just freaking Pokemon the hell out of Nomu. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that was crazy. But anyways, great fight. And the reason why I want to talk about the fight specifically at the end of my review is because it's been a while since I've seen something like this. It kind of reminds me of the moment when we got, even though there's nothing that, that was the greatest anime moment this year. And that, in my opinion, in my, in my opinion, I think it was the greatest anime moment this year that I have watched. I want to say that I have watched. Let me make that clear. That I have watched. This year, we got to see... Levi versus the Beast Titan. Nothing has topped that for me so far from anything that I've been watching anime-wise, right? Nothing has topped that for me. Like, currently, 
currently going. I don't know what's going on right now in in um uh, in my hero in cuz I know season 4 is airing right now. I don't know what's going on. I don't know. I'm pretty sure there's going to be way better moments than this, but it tops it, um it's one of the greatest anime moments that I've seen this year, right? But Levi, if if there's something that happened in anime better than Levi versus Beast Titan this year, please guys, don't send a scene to me because it's probably an anime I'm going to watch in the future. Okay, so don't don't mention it in the comment section because I know you guys are getting getting your fingers ready now to come type something to me um, that I've not seen. If it's something that I have not seen, please. Do not comment it in the comment section, okay? It's just what from what I've seen, okay? Because maybe there's something out there currently that's airing that had a greater moment than Levi versus Beast Titan. But I think to me, that is the best thing I've seen this year, anime wise. Um, and this for me coming in at a strong second because man, they did a great job with the animation, um, the multiple punches. The, the 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 shock waves everything they did episode 11 and 12 was off the chain animation wise um because i wasn't even thinking of that but once he said it when 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 all might said it the difference between shock absorb sure uh, the difference between absorption and nullification right when you nullify something it's basically void it it's like it didn't happen but absorption is something that has a limit it's just like to give you guys an example because i'm pretty sure you probably know that there's a difference now that we've watched it together right um the difference basically uh, to give you guys a simple example example if you have a t-shirt and you soak it up in water that's that's absorption it's absorbing the water but there is a limit right to the amount of water that it can hold before it starts leaking water right so if you keep soaking it, of course, it's going to be leaking. But there is a point that you can literally throw water on, on fabric and no water is dripping out, right? That means the limit of that absorption is not reached, right? So there is a huge difference between nullification and absorption. So once he said it, I caught on to it. I caught on to that. I was like, oh, shit, absorption has a limit. So he can go beyond that. But that's pretty dope that they can include something like that as, the, you know, a little bit of a science thing. But awesome nonetheless. And to see him go at it, greatness, 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 go beyond plus ultra, man. That is a great saying. I think they say it in the in the opening too. So that's why I caught on. I was like, oh, that's why I thought he was going to say clinch your buttocks and smash. <laughs> but that was not it. <laughs> okay, so that was pretty cool, man. Um, All Might and No Moo is no more. <laughs> that's what it is. No Moo is no more. <laughs> Anyways, so definitely enjoyed this episode, man. Hope you guys enjoyed my review here. Um, I'm going to be doing the last episodes of season one by itself, and then we move on to season two as soon as possible. Okay. So thank you guys for tuning in. As always, make sure you leave a like, leave a comment in the comment section, and also subscribe if you're new, man. We out here. I'm so glad that I did these three together, man. Thank you guys so much for suggesting that. And also, it's your boy Terabyte Reacts, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.